Dwayne, they got a got a, kind of got away from you in the second half. What did they change offensively, or what happened with well, the defense? They started running the ball, and we didn't do a good job of getting back in transition. They had four transition points in the first half, and sixteen, I think, in the second half. So that was the difference in the game. They came out of the locker room running, and and we didn't catch their speed. So uh, that was the difference in the first first part of the third quarter. And then Mitch comes in the fourth quarter and hits two big threes, yeah. which was you know extended us and broke our back. Beal got loose on you. Was was the, the running part of that, or did they no, just try to he, shake him free? Again, he, he got loose on some of the blitzes. After he got the ball out of the blitz, he got it back, and then it's when he attacked a couple of times in, in, a, in a couple of switches. He attacked our big. So again, he's a great player. We knew we wanted to make him work, uh, and and but again, it's, it's the other little things. The offensive rebounding. Every time they got one, they kicked it out. It it hurt us. So attention to detail on those. Uh, and again, being disciplined, you know, not in, in even at the end of the game, but starting at the beginning of the game, I thought we was playing a little bit too loose and, and not moving the ball and, and not really getting, we, get, we got good shots, but we didn't get great shots. Second year does seem a little bit disorganized with the bunch of guys missing. Well, uh, that could be a Doug. I, I'm not, you know, those other guys are in uniform, ready to play. So uh, we didn't have the organization, the pop they usually have. And again, we, the young guys that um, you expect that sometimes, but um, again, that they didn't. You know, it, it had, we had to extend Cal and Demar's minutes just to kind of hang tough, and um, you know, they'll bounce back. I have all the faith in the world they'll bounce back, but. Uh, these are the nights we need them, especially with a back-to-back -back coming up. When you mentioned Meeks, Mike Scott gave him a lift in that first half for them. You guys didn't really seem to get that. Well, we didn't get close enough to guard him. They, we knew Mike Scott was hot. He's shooting, what, 43% from the three. We knew that, and you can't close out short. Um, you know, again, it's attention to detail and understanding who you guard. And Meeks and Scott, they do one thing and, and do it well. And, uh, you know, we got to know that when we're guarding them. You guys still had a chance. I mean, there was that steal. Now we, you know, it's, you know, that's, 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 you know, we had put ourselves in a position to win, and that's what you wanted. The NBA, free throws, layups, or whatever it is. I thought the surge is three in and out in the corner gave us another opportunity. I thought we executed our defensive denials at the end of the game pretty well and got come up with a steal. But again, uh, you know, I always say this: it's not the last play that always gets you. It's the things that lead up to that. And uh, we got to be, you know, uh, attention to detail throughout the game.